Hello everybody, welcome back to our 3 info channel. In today's video, I'll show you how to easily fix touchscreen not responding on your ZTE Nubia Air. So first, if you've got a screen protector that's misaligned, misplaced or just a bad quality one, then it can already cause your touchscreen to become less responsive. So remove it if that's the case. Now moving on to the case to the back of your phone if it's covering even a tiny part of the bezels it can be from up top from the sides or from the bottom it doesn't really matter this case definitely does not cover any bezels because the bezels start right here and the case ends right here but if your case is long enough then basically it can cause the touch screen to become less responsive because sometimes it can just touch on a part of the screen and for an example if I place my finger here then I won't be able to move with my other finger so that's what can happen and if that's the case then remove it too now you guys can try and clean your screen with a microfiber cloth so if you've got a microfiber cloth with you then what you guys want to do is go over the screen a couple of times so as you guys can see I am cleaning the screen now from any moisture, from any fingerprints, and from any dust. Now everything should be okay, our screen should look beautiful. And after that, what you guys want to do is restart the phone to refresh the system. So hold the power button. Now from here, hold the power button for over 10 seconds to force restart the device. So hold it, and after a second, everything should turn off. Now, you should see a logo, and when you see a logo, then let go. And now our phone is forced restarting. So, I'll see you guys once it restarts. After the restart, what you guys can do is check for software updates. So go into the settings, now in the settings scroll a bit down until you guys see system and update almost at the bottom click on system update but first you need to make sure that you have internet connection so click here and once you have internet connection then it should show up and as you guys can see my software is up to date but if yours isn't then i recommend you guys updating it because it can fix a lot of glitches including touchscreen not responding and a lot more so that's it for the video i hope it was helpful if it was then leave a like subscription and a comment and i'll see you in the next one bye